And to the people tweeting all these mean stuff, let me ask you guys one question. What is poppin'? First of all, I just want to say thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you guys clicked on this video and you're looking forward to have a daily dose, you know, of a smile from Adam Saleh Vlogs means so much. But at the same time, anyone can just click my video. Even a hater can click my video. But now, seriously, do me a thank you guys so much for always coming through every single day. Y'all already know I'm always out here every single day to turn up with you guys. I want to start off the vlog by letting you guys know that Jamal won. First place on his basketball game. He texted me right here. Remember yesterday when me and him were playing one-on-one? -on -one? I was letting him train. I was letting him practice because he had a basketball game the next day. And the homie Jamal won. He is not just the roast master. He is even Steph Curry with the shot, boy. Who could do that? Who can make their leg reach high? Whoop, whoop. You see that? <laughs> Jamal, congratulations to you. You are the man. Keep it up, man. More ones to you. And do me, gang. I literally have around two weeks left until the tour starts. It starts off in Australia, do me, gang. Melbourne, Sydney. So make sure you guys get your tickets. And then after that, it's going to be the UK. The Adam Meets Fusi Tour. You can get your tickets in the link down below. I'll be choosing out five people who get tickets in the next 24 hours who will win my new merch, season two of the do me, gang. Merch. Here's a little preview of the picture right here. So make sure you guys get your tickets in the next 24 hours I'm choosing five people I'll let you guys know the winners tomorrow do me gang this is the first time I bring out the homie Ali to the trampoline look look at him he's looking around he's like is that the sky it's life man life is crazy look at me hello why you ignore me is he doing the ignoring challenge yo Ali look hello 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 Ali Ali baby baby Baby, hiccup boy, Ali, Ali, this dude does not give no <laughs> I want attention, man. He's trying to suck on my bicep thinking it's a booby. It's not a booby, man. Look at him trying to, trying to eat my booby. Stop. My booby. My booby. As I told you guys, I'll be doing a prank on my dad, the steroid prank. It feels so good that I can say it in the vlog because my dad doesn't even watch my vlogs. But my mom, she watches it every single day. They, literally, my mom is my number one at Doomy. But I think I'll be doing the prank tomorrow instead because I still need to buy a fake needle. I still need to set it up and get ready and take my steroid. For now, I'm gonna have a chill day with the homie Ali. And you guys, we're having a chill day together, you know what I'm saying? I hear Ali, I'm about to go get him right now. Let's go. It do me gang, Rima and Mohsin, they are not here, so I'm stuck with the homie Ali right here. Every day I'm gonna try to make him smile, man. I have to make you smile every day. Did they smiling? Yo, he spoke to me. What's up, boy? I'm your uncle. I'm Uncle Adam. Your name is Ali Saleh. My name is Adam Saleh. Look at him. He's so happy. He's happy today. He's finally starting to smile at Doomy Gang. Hi. Move your hand out the way, bro. I feel like he's trying to box me. Look at his hands. He's putting his guards up. Chill, G. Chill. You want to fight? You want to fight? Do me gang, in the next shot, I'll be telling you guys a crazy, crazy story. And I really hope it inspires you guys. So I'm, um, uh, yeah, cut to the shot. Do me gang, so as you guys know, it's been all over the news. A rapper that goes by the name of XXX Tentacion was killed in Miami, Florida. Seriously, you guys do not know how I feel right now. I literally feel like crap. I got the chills because I just, I literally can't believe it. So many people are dying and it's it's just so scary. I've always been a fan of XXX's music. Me, Slim, Nikib, Wakas, we've always been jamming to his music since years ago. And to hear about him dying at the age of 20, getting shot by someone who was trying to rob him, seriously breaks our heart. May he rest in peace. My thoughts and prayers are to his family, to his fans, to his loved ones. I really hope they stay strong. And one thing, I'm gonna give you guys real talks with Adam right now. One thing that I really dislike is that the fact that he has maybe not so good of a past. It doesn't make him a bad person. He was really, really young. He was 20 years old. And the fact that people are still tweeting stuff like this, I'm gonna show you guys, look. Our prayers have been answered. XXX Tentacion got shot, now he's dead. Let's have tea. You all are sick-minded. After all he did, y'all be praying for him to rest in peace. Don't worry, he has a place in hell to burn. The fact that some people are tweeting that and letting it be seen in public just shows that you're not a good person. The man was 20 years young. He was still learning. He was still going through life, man. And the fact that people are saying, yes, he's dead. Who cares? He hit a woman before, so who cares if he's dead? Just because he hit a woman before doesn't mean you have to wish death upon him. And the fact that someone killed him, someone did God's work on him, it's really, really sad. 
sad. You never know, maybe he was growing and being mature and trying to be a better person. And from his music, I'm not gonna lie, it helped me through a lot of times, you know, he been through a lot and he explained it through his music. And one thing that always inspired me about XXX is that he always gave back. He always gave back to charity. He was in Florida giving back to charity and he got shot and killed. And to the people tweeting all these mean stuff, let me ask you guys one question. If you can't forgive someone, how do you expect God to forgive you? Matter of fact, let me tell you guys a story. This is story time with Adam, and this is a true story. When I started YouTube in 2012, I remember this day as if it was yesterday. It was like the first month of me being on YouTube. I had around 500 followers on Twitter, and I had this one hater. Literally, this hater would hate on me every single day. I remember he was bashing my mom, he was bashing my family. He would seriously tweet me and tell me you would never go anywhere in life. You make Yemenis look bad, you're a horrible person. This dude hated on me so much to the point where I still remember his first and last name. I remember how he looks, I remember his profile picture, I remember everything because this dude got to me. He made me feel like shit and obviously I really disliked him. I mean how can I like a person who hated on me like that but I really disliked him. And then I believe two years later I seen this hater on the news. I'm not even joking to do me gang. Wallah, I seen this dude on the news and it said breaking news. This person's daughter has passed away falling off a balcony or something like that but all I know that it was on the front page of the news and this kid's daughter the hater of mine his daughter passed away I was so so sad I was heartbroken even if this dude hated on me so much even if he cursed my mom out even if he cursed my dad out I was still so sad man I still had a heart I forgave him for everything that he's done to me I prayed for him I prayed for his daughter I prayed for everyone in his family because death is not a joke man people are tweeting about death like it's a joke and to that man the one who hated on me from the beginning of my career I love you with all my heart and I really hope you're going well I forgive you for everything that you've done and I forgive people because I always think in my head as I told you guys if I can't forgive someone then how would God forgive me and my first reaction wasn't yes his kid died who cares this dude was hating on me all his life he cursed my mom out he cursed my whole family out he deserved that that shouldn't be anyone's reaction death isn't a joke it can happen to anyone it can happen to you it can happen to me and I really hope you guys can forgive people and always be positive man don't think of the negativity always think positive and the same thing with XXX he passed away today and a lot of people are hating on him but I don't care what people think he was becoming a better person and that's all that matters he was still a kid he hasn't even had the chance to become an adult he wasn't even 21 yet but Adumi Gang I really hope you guys learned something with this vlog the story that I told you guys if you did make sure you give this vlog a giant thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and put your notifications on. I'm done talking to you guys and Doomy Gang. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Take care and peace. I love you. Hey Doomy Gang, if you're still watching, then you're amazing. I still got an extra part where Remo was vlogging on my camera the other day and she literally just called me right now. She's like, Adam, are you gonna put that in the vlog? I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll put it in the vlog. Fine, I'll put it in the vlog. So here it is, Remo just randomly vlogging around the house without even me knowing. So next time, tell me if you're taking my camera, girl. I you take it. Yeah, here you go. Fun having you in the You are also having an amazing happy day. So I'm going upstairs to my dad. I'm going up. <laughs> He is. He 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 Look at him eating. He was. Stop! Stop! He took the camera! We don't have fix and chill. We only kill the bills. Don't give me that.